customers of Catering by Wiki last year. They were upset that York-based company shut its doors without notice, leaving them on the hook for thousands of dollars. And now the company has filed for bankruptcy. CBS 21's Jessica Babb is digging deeper into what went wrong. To put it simply, the company Catering by Wiki ran out of money. This bankruptcy filing giving us a glimpse. After doing some digging, I found out their financial problems started months before they shut down while they were still signing new contracts with customers. Those who are still out thousands of dollars say the owner, Ernest Helmick, or Wiki, needs to be held accountable. Like, how do you sleep at night knowing that you took everybody's money? It's a message to Wiki from customers who are still missing their money. I think he needs to pay. He's got a lot of soul searching to do. Catering by Wiki or CLLC filed for bankruptcy after they racked up more than $715,000 in debt. 22 customers, 24 employees, and numerous other vendors all losing out. We had a great staff. I even hired one of the chefs that is working with me now. John Walsh was the executive executive chef at Catering by Wiki. So then what happened? Then suddenly the doors got closed and I was very uh, disappointed for the clients because that's just not fair. Was there any indication or any sign that the company was going to be closing? I had a little bit of a feeling, some, not closing, but uh, things were a little tight. The bankruptcy filing says he's owed $9,000 in wages. When was your last paycheck from them? Well, I held back a paycheck uh, so everybody else got paid. Uh, that was a little indication. So um, probably the beginning of October, maybe end of September. He says he thought things would turn around. But they didn't. They went south real fast. Without warning, he says employees found out the company was closing the day before it did. Their jobs gone. What was the explanation that you were told? They ran out of money. Statement show in November, the month the company closed, their checks were bouncing and their accounts were overdrafted. In December, there was a criminal case against Ernest Helmick for bad checks. It's since been dismissed. I don't know anybody who got paid for the last couple of weeks of work. But some checks were written for payroll and closed down expenses. For instance, between September and December of 2022, more than $15,000 worth of checks were written to Ernest's daughter, Heather. Not to mention thousands more spent on attorney fees. He has all this money to pay an attorney. Why doesn't he just pay you? When the company closed, customers received this email saying an attorney would be in touch about their deposits. But to this day, they still haven't seen a dime. These bankruptcy docs show there's only about $100 in assets. Since Missy Gebhard is out $5,000, she sued. As far as the civil case, because they didn't show, I won. But with the cost of more legal fees looming, she didn't move forward. If I had unlimited funds, I would take him all the way. A lot of questions. There are, and he's getting away with screwing people over. There are questions I've been trying to ask Quickie. I wanted to give you a call following the closure of your company to see if you had anything to say to customers or employees who lost thousands of dollars. When I called him, he hung up on me. When I reached out to his attorney, it was made clear Wiki wouldn't be doing an interview with us. But during a meeting with creditors, a deputy from the attorney general's office was able to ask him questions. If you could put a, a an approximate date on when your present financial troubles began, uh, when would that be and why? I have no, I have no idea. It, it, okay. They climax in that that very week that we closed. But he should have some idea. Later in the bankruptcy hearing, he admitted they fell behind on rent around September or October. But before that, court docs show they had financial issues in the summer, racking up thousands in unpaid unemployment compensation and fees from a staffing agency, as well as other lawsuits that started stacking up. And he wasn't paying his rent, so he knew. When was the last job you accepted a deposit for? I, I don't know because I didn't, I only did a, wrote a few menus. There were other staff members that did them. I didn't see all the menus that went out. Based on customer contracts, he was still accepting new customers as of September and making revisions on proposals in October. In this business, honesty is the best policy. And this isn't the first time a company associated with Wiki has ended up in hot water. Court docs show years ago, the York-based company Tech Cuisine, which is connected to the company Wiki's caterers, was saddled with liens and lawsuits for unpaid bills. I, I'm very saddened for all the clients and for the staff. 
you know, I forgive him and uh, I hope he finds what he's looking for. For CBS 21, I'm Jessica Babb. Wow, such in-depth reporting. Jessica, thank you. Great job.